Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to the second listening practice of chapter four, which talks about memory problems. So before we start this section or this part, can you think of some of the problems that you have related to your memory? What are the problems that you have, uh, again, related to your memory? Yes, the major problem of our memories is forgetting things. So this is the major problem. So to get more information about the memory problems, we are going to listen a radio program about memory problems and then number the problems in the order they are discussed. So these are the four topics mentioned or discussed in the program. So your role is to listen and then number the topics in the order they appeared or they are discussed. Okay. Good morning and welcome to our show. Today we're talking about memory. Our guest is Dr. Phyllis Ray. Dr. Ray has done quite a bit of research on memory and how the brain works. Hello and welcome, Dr. Ray. Hi, thanks for having me. Now, I'll confess that I worry about my memory sometimes, and I'm pretty sure that some of our listeners have similar worries. So I hope you can give us some tips. Well, I think I probably can. One thing that people often don't realize is that feeling anxious or worried about your memory will definitely have a negative impact on your memory. So what I mean is that if you're feeling stressed out because, for example, you always forget people's names, well, the stress of worrying about it will actually make it harder, uh, harder to remember names. Really? So we should try not to worry about it so much? Exactly. Hmm. Well, we're going to let our listeners get in on this conversation. Let's see what they want to know about memory. Um, first, we have Roberto from Phoenix calling. Hello, Roberto. What's your question? Hi. Uh, you mentioned forgetting people's names. I have a terrible problem with this, so uh, I'm wondering if there are any little tricks that I can use to help me remember. Yes, there definitely are. With almost any trick or technique, the goal is to make the name you're trying to remember as meaningful and memorable as possible. Uh, try to associate the name with an image. Uh, try to make the image as vivid as possible. Uh, for example, if you meet someone named uh, John Hatfield, take a moment and come up with an image. Um, Let's see, I might picture the man standing in a field next to an enormous red hat, and the name John is written in large letters on the hat. You, you can picture anything that would be helpful, but make it really memorable. Actually, the sillier it is, the better, because you're more likely to remember. Thank you. That's really helpful. I think having a technique to use will help me feel less worried about this, too. Good. So that will help with the stress factor we talked about. Thanks for calling, Roberto. Uh, our next caller is Tim calling from Boston. Hi, Tim. Hi, this is a great topic. Thanks. Good. My question is about whether we can improve our memory or not. I've been hearing more and more about exercises to strengthen the brain and things like that these days. Well, uh, it's almost like people are saying that we have to work out our brain in a similar way to working out our bodies. Is this true? Should I be trying to exercise my brain? Great question. And the answer is yes. Research is definitely showing that exercise for our brains is beneficial. And yes, there is a parallel to exercise for our bodies. Uh, you can almost think about it as if the brain is a muscle and you have to work it to strengthen it, just the way we do with muscles in our body. So how do you give your brain a workout? There are lots of ways. A lot of puzzles, for example. Uh, crossword puzzles are good for your brain. Puzzles that involve pictures and diagrams are also good. And uh, there are actually a lot of good books available now with many different ideas on how to give your brain a workout. I, I recommend you find a book that looks interesting to you and then do the exercises. Okay, I will. Thanks. Thanks for the question. I'd also like to add that giving the brain some exercise is a good idea as you get older. Age affects the brain, just as it affects the body. 
So regularly working out the brain can help it stay healthy as you age. That seems like good advice, especially since we're all getting older. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, our next caller is Lily from Chicago. Hello, Lily. Hi. I think my memory is pretty good, but the thing that drives me crazy is when I have something on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember it. Ah, the tip of the tongue syndrome. When what you're trying to remember is so close, but you just can't think of it. And the harder you try, the worse it gets, right? Yes, exactly. I found the best approach is to talk around the topic. Uh, for example, if you're trying to remember the name of a movie, talk about what the story is about, who the characters are, and so on. This gives your brain time to work on it. And very often, if you don't push too hard, it will come back to you. Thanks. Okay, it's time for a break. We'll come back in a minute for more of your questions. So, let's start with the first one. What was the first topic discussed in this radio program? The first topic was about stress and memory. The second one. The second topic discussed in this radio program, program was about forgetting names. The third topic, the third topic was about ways to improve memory. And the last one is about was about tip of the tongue syndrome. Okay, so let's move to the other questions related to this radio program. And I'm going to do only two questions of these. Okay. If you are worried about your memory, how does, how does that affect your ability to remember things? According to the audio track, worrying about your memory. makes it more difficult to remember things, to remember things. So the more you are worried, the more you the more difficult uh, it makes to remember things. So this is according to the audio track. The second question, it asks about the main goal of any techniques to remember names. What is the main goal of any techniques to remember names? Okay, they mentioned in the audio track that the main goal is to make the name as memorable and meaningful as possible. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you very much.